hi guys, hi. How's it going? It's Hannah. I'm here for what's probably going to be a long video. Once again, um, I have a lot to show. Most of this video is going to be showing gifts I received from my friends in this community. So if you're not into that, I will give you a cue before I start opening the stuff so you can um, skedaddle if you're a negative Nancy about that type of thing. Um, oh, by the way, X, I'm wearing my X shirt. Los Angeles, their first album. They're one of my top five favorite punk bands and I will get to see them in June. They're coming in June, I think June 23rd. This will be the first time I'm seeing them. I've waited forever to see them. On the back of this shirt just has lyrics for their first album here. Killer band. I love Xene. I love John Doe. <sighs> it's going to be awesome. So, um, yeah, I've had a heck of a last week and a half. I started a second job. And the training was full-time, but it was kind of promised that the job would turn into a part-time job after training. Well... I learned after the first week that my hours would be like 37 hours a week after training, which was pretty much unacceptable. So I feel like I was misled. I had to resign because I already have a job and I, I wanted like another part-time job on the side for some extra cash. So I had to resign. It was kind of annoying. It was a waste of my time. Um, but now I'm happy with my old schedule again for now until I find, you know, maybe another source of income to supplement, um, what I currently make to support my ever-growing vinyl habit, so, which is out of control. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to show you, I'm going to start showing you some stuff that I've recently bought. So yeah, I haven't even unsealed some of these yet. These first two are from an eBay auction I won. Um, a while ago now. I just haven't had the opportunity to show them. First Darling Buds album. Um, I also got a bunch of 7-inch singles in that eBay auction, which was an overseas eBay auction I won for about $35 total, which is pretty good. And then an album that my friend Nicola at Wax Reliquary, she, I always have trouble saying that, um, she recommended this album from them. It's Crawdaddy. So they're just a really fun like indie pop band from the late 80s, early 90s, and I really like the singer's voice. So yeah, that was kind of a nice auction to win. Moving on. I did an unboxing for this the other day on Instagram. Uh, this went down in price. Um, it was $11 on Amazon, so I jumped and I got it. It's not a Surf's album. The stars are indifferent to astronomy. And someone recommended this to me. I got kind of behind on their albums and I sampled this and I loved it. So this is going to be an awesome addition. It looks like it is a gatefold. I just haven't opened it yet. So there was that seal of a deal. And then I'm um, super excited to have this. The cover's a little damaged on this. I haven't unsealed it, but um, I don't know if you can see. It's a little bent there. Felt forever breathes the lonely word. Anyway, this is their album from, of course it doesn't say, I'm going to guess 1987, 1988. Um, anyway, it's on Cherry Red Records. This is a reissue. They re reissued their catalog last year, I believe. And this has been very expensive on Amazon for a while, like $35. So it went down in price to like 27 and I used a gift card to get this. So fantastic jangle pop band the singer lawrence i forget his last name but he sounds exactly like lou reed so if you like 80s jangle pop check felt out oh my gosh can't recommend them enough i know this is a recent record store day release but i got this for six dollars used mesopotamia from the b-52s it's an ep produced by david byrne 1982 i have yet to listen to this one as well most of these I have not listened to. I am so behind. Pandora is Stop Pretending. This was fairly cheap, so I wanted to jump on this. It might be their second album. This is on Rhino. 1986, all-girl group, kind of part of the Paisley Underground scene, which I really dig. So, um, yeah, I like their stuff. I want to get their first album, too, in time. I don't think I showed this one last time, but this is a Damned bootleg. The Damned are my number one favorite punk band of all time. So this is a bootleg from 1981, and it sounds excellent. I've already listened to this. 
There's the set list. If you recognize some of those tracks. And yes, Captain Sensible is on here, so I'm happy. All right, I'm going to show... Oh, I forgot to show this on my Record Store Day video. I picked this up, Record Store Day. It's a UCD, Robin Hitchcock and the Egyptians. Gotta let this hen out. I did not have this one before. Um, $3. So that will be a good listen in addition to my Robin Hitchcock collection. Big fan. Where do I begin? Um, so this is the part in the video where I kind of don't want any negative people sticking around because um, I'm going to show a bunch of gifts that people have sent me. My friends in this community, people are very generous to me. I don't take it for granted. I don't ask for anything I get. It's not in my nature to ask for anything. So I'm very appreciative. Um, yes, I'm thankful for everything I've received. So thank you all for being so generous and nice. And I really enjoy everything I get. I listen to everything I get in time. So I'm just going to get started. If you're not into VCLT videos, this is the part of the video where you can um, just not be here anymore and I won't be offended. So here I go. This is from my friend Ethan. He is one of my friends on Instagram. If you're not on Instagram, I highly recommend it. It's so much fun, you guys. I was hesitant to join it at first because, you know, there's a lot of teens on there. It's mostly known to be like an app for the younger generation, but trust me, there's tons of people from the vinyl community on there. My whole feed is just records. So you can just follow people who have record collections and show what they're listening to. That's all I do is I post what I'm listening to at any given moment. Um, and you just put hashtags on it so people can find you. It's really fun. Anyway, that's my little plug for Instagram. He sent me a Who magazine here, a special collector's edition. So that's really cool. Um, this was from June 25th, 2015. So, um, yeah, we're both huge Who fans. So thank you for that. He also sent like a Lilith Fair cassette of all these, um, rad female artists. So I'm very appreciative for that too. So if you can't see that, um, Say Ferris, Petty Griffin, Case Choice, um, Tara McLean, Wild Strawberries, Ugly Beauty. Really cool. Thank you so much, Ethan. Very kind of you. Um, then my friend Anthony Bernard, he sent me a few more things from his collection. Um, I will leave a link down below to his channel. So he sent me a bunch of records recently, and now he's decided that he wants to start up collecting again, which is kind of funny, but um, I get it, you know, we're, you get sucked in. So he sent me some more stuff here. This is Joe Jackson. Um, this is Big World from 1986. Huey Lewis in the News. Um, I'm not even familiar with this band. I've seen the name. I'm sure I've probably heard something, but it's, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't even know if I'm going to say this right. Screedy Politi. This is pro Provision. So, yeah, I gotta, I gotta spin that and see what that's about. Peter Frampton, Wind of Change. He takes very good care of his records. He always sends them in these nice sleeves, like the kind with the, the fold down flap. He also sent me, I'm not going to show them all because it's a lot, but he sent me a lot of Elton John seven inch singles, which is awesome. Like I won't even need anything from Elton John again because he sent me just a bunch of singles. So Anthony, you're too kind. Thank you so much. Check out his channel below in the description box. He's been very, very generous. Okay, next, my friend Joey. R. I'm not going to say his last name, but he's a friend of mine on Facebook. He sent me. Now, unfortunately, I can't utilize these, but um, I told him, you know, is it okay? It, well, first of all, I said, do you want them back? And he said that um, I could pass them on to you guys in the future. So he sent me a bunch of download cards of albums he bought, Built a Spill, um, Red Ants, Lemon Twigs. Bob Mold, Sunshine Rock, Deer Hunter, The Lilies in the Presence of Nothing, which is an awesome shoegaze album, 
Kurt Vile bottle it in. Heaven's End. There's just a lot of good stuff here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to include some of these in each of my giveaway packages, both the CD and the vinyl packages when all is said and done. Um, I don't have a computer that can handle downloads. I mainly just use it for work, my desktop. And on my phone, I have Apple Music that I just stream everything on. So I'm going to go ahead and pass those on. That was extremely generous of you, Joey. Thank you. I will be passing those on um, in my giveaway, which is going until the end of April. I've gotten a huge response for that. That is awesome. You guys can get in on that until April 30th. So check out my video. Um, it's a giveaway for a vinyl package and a CD package. Pretty cool. Um, next, I'm going to show something my friend John Collier sent and I already opened the card and everything but he sent me a nice card here um really nice guy before he sent me a bunch of mixed cds some really good mixed cds and um Nick Drake's brighter lighter cd so I just appreciate that so yeah he just included a few more things that I dig and happy listening I haven't checked out this mixed cd he sent yet it's just entitled Hannah's Mystery Disc, and it has some obscure stuff. Um, he said bands that I'll like, so I'm very curious to check that out when I have a moment. Lastly, he sent just a bunch of awesome pins. Um, if you can see that, there's Jimi Hendrix, um, Big Star, Stevie Nicks, Buckingham Nicks. Just so cool. Uh, Fleetwood Mac. Awesome. I know there's so much glare. Um, just awesome pins in there. Thank you, John. Thank you. That was unexpected. So now is the time I'm going to move on to what my friend Jess sent me. Jess M. Jess M has sent me, I don't know, three or four packages by now. Um, if you've seen my recent past few videos that I have shown what he sent, um, and he's big into Jingle Pop, Dream Pop, Shoegaze, Twee Pop, C86 stuff, good, awesome music from the 80s and 90s and current. So he sent me a bunch of stuff from a store called um, Jigsaw Records, and which is an awesome, awesome store. I haven't even gone through all these yet. I'm still in the process because he sent me so much. So here we go. There's shoegaze in here. There's dream pop. It is fantastic. So I'm going to start with the CDs. Okay. He sent me a couple Luxsmith CDs. This is kind of like a compilation or a best of the Luxsmiths. It's called Cartography for Beginners. And I have listened to this one and I liked it. Um, I think they're from the UK. Was it the UK or Australia? Oh, I should know this. I'm going to put it in a little box down here. But um, yeah, this is a double um, CD set off of matinee recordings. So basically it has on the first disc is their stuff from 93 to 2000. The second disc is 2001 to 2009. It is indie pop, kind of folky pop, twee. Um, it's really like charming pop and I really dig it. So that will be getting plenty of spins. And then this one I have not opened yet. It's called Spring A Leak from the Luxmas. And it's a two CD set of B-sides, covers, rarities, and other treasures of the deep. So, and a lot of this stuff was sealed brand new, which blows me away. Thank you, Jess. And I'm not even done showing what he sent me. Okay, for me, this was a true winner. This is Fantastic. This is the Manhattan Love Suicides Burnt Out Landscapes. So this is a noise pop um, group, dream pop. They were from the 90s, I believe. So if you like Jesus and Mary Chain, like bands that are influenced by Jesus and the Mary Chain, the, prim the primitives, the shop assistants, the, the singer's voice, I forget her name. Um, I think she just goes by Caroline, maybe. Her voice is so good. I am in love with her voice. I am in love with this music. I can listen to noise pop or dream pop, just any 
at any moment. It's like your candy for me. So this was awesome. Check that out if you like noise pop. And then like there's spinoff groups after this group, like with the same singer. And at the moment I'm drawing a blank to what those are, but really good stuff too. So now I'm going on to all the vinyl. There's quite a bit. This one is Ave Marina, 10 years of Marina records. This is a three LP set. Um, really good selection of like indie pop bands from like the early 90s and such. So you got um, Shaq, April Showers, Pearl Fishers, The Aluminum Group, The Secret Goldfish, The Free Design is even on here. Um, Edwin Collins, Article 58, The Pale Fountains, The Primary Five, Cowboy Mouth, Van Dyke Parks is on here as well. I really thoroughly enjoyed this. So if you like indie pop, it's just gorgeous music. So a really solid compilation. I enjoyed that immensely. Literature Chorus. Um, this is a very enjoyable album of um, lots of jangle pop and 80s influences on this. So I, I totally dug this. Let's see, Business of Dreams. Highly enjoyable too. Um, Business of Dreams is basically one guy, and I'll put his name down below because once again, that's escaping me. Um, they have two albums out right now. This one's, this is their first album from 2017. They just released a new one this year. I would say it is indie pop with a heavy 80s influence. Um, check out the song Joyride. That was probably my favorite song on here. Just really catchy. So I, I like that a lot. Dream Boys. Um, more indie pop. A little bit of jangle pop. I really um, just, I like the melodies on this album. I'm going to have to listen to it again, but I'm not even sure if they're around anymore. This was released in 2013. So the Dream Boys. And then he sent me three shoegaze albums from the same band, um, and I really love this band. This is Tears Run Rings. Fantastic modern shoegaze group. This is their first album, I think, from around 2008, but the vinyl is really cool. Let me and I love the cover art on this, but it's like a brown kind of marbly vinyl and it matches the cover art. Gorgeous cover art. And then, let's see, I think this one was their second album. Just cool cover. So yeah, on this one it just says, dreamy pop group with a style reminiscent of the classic factory creation and 4AD sounds. So if you like those labels, like the bands that were on those labels, you'll probably like them. And then finally, In Surges. This is their most recent album, I believe. This came out in 2016. And this was actually the first one I spun out of these. And it's on just this pretty, um, sorry, translucent bluish vinyl. Yeah, so just excellent shoegaze. If you're into shoegaze, check them out. Tears Run Rings. Okay, thank you, Jess. Too much. I love his taste in music. It's like, I love all this stuff too. Oops, I even forgot to, sh to show one. Um, yeah, just has amazing taste in music. This one I haven't even unsealed yet either, but I'm gonna listen to this this weekend. It's called Sharon. It's Signs to Cherry Red, Independent Woman, 1979 to 1985. So it's like a compilation of these female artists from that era, and it's a two disc set, and it's still sealed. All of these were still sealed amazingly. So this is going to be awesome. Who's on here? Strawberry Switchblade, Marine Girls, um, The Twin Sets, The Gym Slips, The B-Girls, Don Chorus and The Blue Tits, Vivian Goldman, The Petticoats, The Mockingbirds, um, Pride of the Cross, The Delmonas, Kamikaze Pilots. This is, yeah, this is going to be a good listen. Oh, he just sends me awesome stuff. Thank you, Jess. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm going to sound like a broken record here saying thank you over and over again, but I do truly appreciate it. So, okay, I'm going to move on to some of these unboxings. Um, I have three packages to open on camera, 
two of these three um, friends asked me to do unboxings, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, so this first one I'm doing, um, this person would like to remain anonymous. So I'm going to respect his wishes and not reveal his name. He does exist in the vinyl community. He does have a channel, but I'm not going to say who sent me this, but I did um, unslit this. So I'm going to see what's in here. I've been waiting to open this for a few days. Uh, let's see what's in here. Ooh, oh my goodness. Cool, so there's two CDs on a piece of cardboard on right here. Um, this. I've wanted this. I wanted this. I've been sampling Bob Mold's Sunshine Rock, and I really dig it. It's his new album from this year. Of course, Bob Mold from Husker Du and Sugar, just a fabulous artist. Sharon Van Etten, Remind Me Tomorrow. Now, I've heard of the name Sharon Van Etten, so I'm just going to go out on a limb and say like she's a solo kind of alternative or indie artist. Um, cool. Wow, I'm really excited about those. Thank you. And there's actually more in here. Um, looks like there's some vinyl in here. It's very well packed. Oh my gosh, I wanted this album. I don't have this one. Wow. This is the three o'clock, 16 tambourines. So this is a group from the Paisley Underground scene of the 80s. Um, jangle pop, if you will. Wow. This is cool. I was going to buy this album this year at some point. Um, sweet. This, yeah, I love the song Jetfire. That's the first track on here. Uh, let me just show it. <laughs> wow, this is cool. Awesome. I've never even seen this out in the wild, to be honest with you. Here's the label. Looks like just a simple label. Uh, Frontier Records. Wow. That was um, a wish list item for sure. All right, let's move on. Let's see what else is in here. There's one more record. The Sunshine Company, Sunshine and Shadows. Oh, okay. I don't think I've ever seen this album out in the wild, but I've heard of them. Um, I'm gonna guess they're like a sunshine pop group from the 60s. Ooh, maybe they have a female singer here. Is it Mary Nance? Cool. If you guys are familiar and can kind of um, let me know what's going on with that. Thank you. I think you said one of these was kind of like a placeholder or whatever. Um, who's going to explain it later on to me, but I'm excited to spin that as well. Thank you, Mr. Anonymous. <laughs> I will not reveal your name per your request. Um, that was very kind of you and one, uh, this was a grail right here, the 16, um, tambourines from the three o'clock and those CDs are awesome. Thank you. Wow. Okay. I've got two more boxes to open here. How are we doing on time? Okay. Not too bad. I got a package from Chris at Dixieland Farm. I'm sure many of you know about Chris or are subscribed to him. He's been in the vinyl community for many, many years. Um, so I went to the post office today and there was this box in there, which was unexpected. I didn't know he was going to send me anything. So I'm going to finish unsealing this. I kind of already, um, let's see what's in here. Again, I'm going to be sounding like a broken record here, but I'm just so excited. I'm, Ah, you guys, thank you. Okay, let's see here. Okay, it says Hannah. There's a note in here. Hannah, happy spring. Chris at Dixieland Farm. Short and sweet. I like that. Okay. Ooh, I already see one that I like in here on the top. Um, ooh, this is awesome. Emilou Harris, luxury liner. I'm really getting into Emily right now. I have that Profile 2 compilation, which I've enjoyed spinning. So what a fabulous addition. This one is from 1977. My goodness. Oh, she? Graham Parsons and Chris Etheridge. Oh, there's a town, 
Towns Van Zandt cover on here as well. This is going to be really cool. A Chuck Berry cover. That's going to be a good listen. I, I already know it. Very, very awesome. I'm excited to see what else is in here. Ooh, here's another Emmy Lou. I think I've seen this cover before. Man, that's the coolest hippie outfit. Look at that. What's this album called? This is um, Elite Hotel. From 1975. Awesome. Sorry, I was just looking at the track listing there. Buck Owens cover. Um, oh, well, this is also going to be good. Too cool. Let's see what else is in here. Rachel Sweet, Fool Around. Okay, so I could be wrong. This this chick re looks just like the, the girl in Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Now, am I wrong? Is that Dottie? <laughs> I'm probably wrong, but it looks just like her. Um, I'm not familiar with her at all. Does anyone know um, what her claim to fame is? I'm very curious. Looks good though. Cool. Oh, nice. George Thorogood and the Destroyers. Moving on over. Don't have anything from them. Wow, there's lots of good stuff in here. Oh, we've got Let It Be. I do have this one. Um, so I may be passing this on in the future because I do have it. Unless you want it back, Chris, let me know. Um, and I do have Cosmos Factory, although this could be an upgrade for me as well. I don't know yet. So, wow, that's an awesome bunch of records you sent. Thank you so much. That was, that was an unexpected surprise in the mailbox when we went to the post office today. So, um, very kind of you, Chris. Thank you. I really enjoy your friendship. Um, Chris watches like pretty much every one of my videos. I don't know where he gets the time. Uh, of course I'm behind on his, which I feel horrible about. And a lot of people I'm so behind. I, I feel horrible, but it's been like a busy past few weeks with that second job and I'm getting back on track soon. Surely soon enough. Okay, last package here. It's a big package. It's from my friend Robert, NYC guy raised on records. Um, Robert would like more exposure for his channel, which he has an awesome channel. He's a really good friend of mine. Um, we talk a lot back and forth about music. He's into all the music I like. He likes pretty much everything. He's a nice guy. Check out his channel if you would. He would like some more interest for his channel, so um, I'm happy to try to generate that for him. The link to his channel is down below. He responds to all his comments as well. And I took the address label off of there. Um, but look how big this is. Robert has sent me probably four packages in the past of all sealed vinyl. The last one he sent me was around Christmas time. It was an epic box. So I <laughs> just... I'm like beyond excited to see what's in here. Um, if I can open it, this may take me just a little bit of time. That wasn't too difficult. Um, holy moly. I'm going to read the little note here. It says, hope you and Chris are doing fine. Here's the VCLT I've had for you. I was waiting until after RSD madness to pass to mail to you. Included with all the alternative acts is a 2019 RSD release. I hope you enjoy the selection of records I picked. I hope you do not already own these. If you do, please send them back and I'll replace at a later date. Robert, you don't need to do that. I already added these to my collection. Record number four is an original. I have a video up spinning this one. The four right boxes include sealed music as well. If you own these, please send back as well. I enjoy sending you VCLT and helping you build a collection. Your VC friends have been very generous sending you great music, yes. You certainly all have, and I don't take it for granted. I originally thought of sending all original VCLT, but was sure, but was sure some would be warped. So these are reissues. Some getting released on vinyl for the first time in the U.S. P.S. Open the site up. Records are numbered again. Okay, Robert, you go above and beyond. You do too much for me. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, so I'm actually gonna start with. Um, the CDs first here on the outside since they were on the top. Let's see here. Oh 
my god. I do not have this CD of hers. This is my favorite singer, Juliana Hetfield. This is her single, um, Spin the Bottle. I do not have this on any format. So, um, it has Spin the Bottle, the radio version, and then Spin the Bottle, Endless Spin Mix. Now there's like some Ethan Hawke, um, stuff from the movie Reality Bites on the second track there. That's really cool. Thank you. I'm always like, I'm kind of a completist with her because she's my favorite singer. So that was definitely one that was missing um, from my collection. Wow, I didn't have this either. <laughs> um, my favorite power pop artist or one of my favorites from the 90s, Matthew Sweet. This is his single, The Ugly Truth. Um, so Ugly Truth, Ugly Truth Rock, Born in Sin, and Ultra Suede. Ultra Suede is cool. Wow, that's, that's really nice, that single. Thank you. Really, really outstanding additions here. Next. Ooh, we have another Matthew Sweet. All right. This is We're the Same. This is actually one of my favorite singles from him. So I didn't have this either. Speed Racer is the other song. Too cool. Too cool. Yeah, if you guys like Power Pop, check out Matthew Sweet. He's a local. He lives, or he's from an hour south of me in Lincoln. Really talented artist. Here's the last CD. Universal Heartbeat. Okay, so I think I do have this one. So, Robert, let me know if you would like this one back. I'm going to double check. I think I have it, but I could be wrong. I'll let you know for sure. But, um... Universal Heartbeat, Where Would I Be Without You, Yard Sailing, and Girl in Old Blue, Volvo, Disown Self. I'm going to move this chair in front of me so it's easier. All right, here's number one, and these are all, like, tissue wrapped. It's just unbelievable. Okay. I'm really excited. Really excited. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, he did tell me he was going to pick this up for me on Record Store Day, and I'm thrilled and beyond excited to have this. This is a Janis Joplin live at Woodstock, Sunday, August 17th, 1969. Um, wow. I think it's a double LP. It is. Oh my goodness. I think Lou at Daddy Sensei Silver, which is also, he's one of my uh, friends on here. He got this. He showed it in a video and he said it sounds excellent. Someone else said there's too much, like, screaming from her. That's, that's her thing, man. Like, <laughs> what do you expect from a live performance from Janice? You know, she's just totally uh, expressive and amazing. Wow, thank you. I'm excited to listen to this. For sure. Okay, let's move on to uh, number two. Beautiful uh, tissue wrap. Paper. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Another awesome one. So this is Mazzy Star still. This is an EP that came out, I think, it, yeah, 2018. And I haven't heard this yet. So um, I love Mazzy Star. I love Hope Sandoval's voice. So yeah, this is hard. This came out in 2018, so beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, I'm sure that's, I'm sure that's going to be awesome. Moving on, there's so much in here. Number three. Oh my gosh. Portishead's dummy, no way. I wanted to buy this this year. This is definitely a grail wish list item. I know Jeff Kempin recently got this too. This has been on my wish list. This is one of the best trip hop albums out there. This came out in 1994 originally. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to have this. This is superb. This and Massive Attack's Mezzanine. I mean, it really doesn't get any better. Thank you, Robert. That's awesome. Wow. Oh 
Number four. Oh my gosh. No, I've never even seen this anywhere. This is <laughs> Robin Hitchcock, Mossy Liquor. Um, six prototypes of songs from Robin's forthcoming album, Moss Elixir, plus six new and entirely distinct musical offerings. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is from 1996. This has got to be pretty rare. I mean, his 90s stuff you really can't find on vinyl. Jeff Kempen, uh, do you have this one yet? I'm assuming you might, because you picked up a lot of his stuff last year. Um, Robin Hitchcock is, yeah, he's one of my favorite artists. Just so kooky and odd, jangly guitars. I mean, I, oh, I love it. Thank you, wow. Wow. Yep, this is a long video. Um, Number five. So I got number five and number six. Too much. What's this? Oh man. Whole oh, pretty on the inside. I don't have any of their stuff on vinyl. So I think this is their first album. Yep, from 1991. And this is a 2017 reissue. Oh, this is some badass stuff <laughs> from Courtney Love and her band. Um, Hole's debut studio album. Okay, it was on Pink Vinyl. Trouser Press Guide to 90s Rock called a surly milkshake of broken rock shards from the artistic misspellings of song titles to the lyric collage on the inner sleeve and abrasive abstract guitar noises on the songs reveals the band's fascination with New York, no wave art, and music scene of the 80s. That's so cool. Yeah, I love, I love this alternative stuff from the 90s. I just eat it up, so, um... Thank you, Robert. That's, that's pretty awesome. That's a, that's a slam dunk. All this stuff is a slam dunk. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm excited. What could it be? Number six right here. Oh, oh my gosh. Another grail wish list item. This was recently reissued. This is one of my favorite albums of this time, you know, 1987. Cherry Red reissue, House of Love's debut album, self titled. Guy Chadwick's band, oh my gosh. Um, I, I just had this on CD before. This is a classic album. Um, it's gorgeous. This is a double LP, oh my gosh. Sorry, it's from 1988. Yeah, it's this is the 30th anniversary remastered edition. Includes bonus disc of singles A's and B's. Oh my gosh. If you guys haven't heard this, like you're missing out. Um I don't even know how to describe it. It's uh, dream pop. A little bit of noise pop, just gorgeous pop. Um, it, for me, it's a must listen if you haven't heard it. So give it a sample. Let me know what you guys think. Most of you probably have already heard this. Wow, this is a grill. Robert, Robert, I don't even know what to say. Thank you so very much. I'm blown away here. I'm blown away with all this VCL to you guys. Thank you. I never really know, I'm speechless. I never really know what to say, um, but thank you over and over again. So, thank you so much. Um, I've sent Robert VCLT before, but it doesn't compare to all the stuff he sent me. Um, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to end the video here. Let me know what you guys thought of all that stuff, all those showings. It's a ridiculous amount of music I know. I'm spoiled. And I just bought a collection today, which was unexpected. Um, Chris's friend from Improv, they're moving, so he said he had a bunch of records, and I went over there, and 
bunch of records and cassettes. Really cool stuff. That'll be my next video. Bye, you guys.